Today we're going to be learning how to make the scribble effect in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So you want to find the part where you want to add the scribbles, duplicate it, and compound the bottom layer and name it base, and then come to the top layer and just name that scribbles or drawings or whatever, um, and then come to the fusion page. So you want to set up your node tree like I have done here by adding a background and a merge in between the media in and the media out. Then you add a paint node and connect the paint node to the merge. Then click on the paint mode and come up to the modifiers tab on the top right and head over to this button here. The one that looks like a little pencil and then what you want to do is hold control on the frames section and just use your scroll wheel to stretch it out and then we can get the individual frames. So on the top left of the video frame make sure that little paintbrush with the two dashes is selected and then we can just come to our color, select the color you want and then we can start drawing. So start on frame zero and draw your first image, I just drew a star here and then you move to frame one and you add the first star and then you add the second star as if the frames are repeating and continuous from the next. You then just continue to add things for each frame um, and developing this sketch style as you go on. Um, it can be a little bit rough, a little bit crazy, I don't think there's any particular way in doing this. I obviously rush through this quite quickly, but because they flash so quick, um, it's not exactly noticeable. And we're also going to add some texture and roughness to them in a minute, but this is eventually what I ended up coming up with. And if you're using DaVinci Resolve guys, check out the full collection of my editing plugins at bluetooth.com. These tools seriously level up your workflow. From CRT, VHS and animated titles, I've got you covered. Now after this we're going to add an erode dilate node and this is so we can control the weight or the thickness of the line. And you're probably thinking why we didn't do that in the first place, but it just means uh, it gives us more flexibility. We can essentially control the thickness um, post and we can also control um, or keyframe the thickness um, mid animation. You know, It just gives us a little bit more flexibility and like you can see I eventually change the weighting of the lines. Now as far as I'm unaware you can't import your own brushes so we kind of have to develop this to give it a little bit more grittiness otherwise it's going to stay pretty digital and flat so we want to add a directional blur and we're just going to stretch the painting a little bit um, or the marker just so we fade it and we get those sort of faded edges and then what we can do is add some film grain that works directly inside of the, the drawing and it just looks like uh, we've emulated a paintbrush. I then went back to each frame and just added some yellow scribbles just to give it a bit more depth and a bit more variation. I then came to the media in and deleted that and added a background node so we could get it on a clean plate. I then came to the top layer and I came to the composite settings and changed this to add and this way we can see our scribbles on top of our original image. Then I moved over to the color panel and the reason we kept it on a clean plate is so we can actually impact the individual scribbles um, in the color panel by messing around with the contrast, the hue, the shadows and just really adjusting and having the freedom to control anything we want. I then added a dynamic keyframe in the keyframe editor just to our right here um, and keyframe the hue. So I went back to our first frame and gave it a different value to the end frame and that way as we played the clip the scribbles change color. I then uh, made an extra node that's all S and added false color uh, and what you want to do is change the bottom color to black so it turns it transparent and then you can really just get this uh, variation uh, within the depth of the actual scribbles. So as you can see it's no longer just a solid color, it's kind of got a bit of blue, a bit of green or whatever color you choose um, and this just once again adds to the detail of our scribbles. I then wanted to add some glow just to make it a little bit more abstract um, and this is what I ended up getting. I messed around with the spread and the shine threshold and got something nice um, and this looked really cool. After I'd messed around with the colours and sort of uh, ended up getting this purple with some blue and orange tints, I feel like uh, I was getting close to where I wanted to be but I knew there needed to be one more thing. So I came and added an adjustment clip over the top uh, and this is where we're just going to finish up the whole effect uh, and I wanted to add a vignette just to make the focus more centered around uh, the subject. I then came into the vignette settings, I made it a white, um, I think I took down the size, yep, uh, and then just messed around with the blend opacity, it was quite strong but uh, we just wanted it a little bit more faded. I then on the same adjustment clip came and added a film grain um, just for our last detail. 
I then up the strength uh, and up the opacity uh, and that pretty much finalized the effect. It come together really nicely. I obviously rushed through this quite quickly because it was a tutorial but if you take your time you can really develop this effect uh, and use it in multiple scenes in your music videos or social videos. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Head over to bluetooth.com and check out some of our packs and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Peace. Pack up your bags and throw us up. We was up all night right with a function set. When I turn my back, you froze, froze.